What's up guys? All right, we're back and today with this video We're actually going to talk about a company that sponsors me now keep in mind This video is not sponsored by anyone especially Razer. So what we're going to talk about is the new Razer Huntsman mini keyboard. All right, so I've had this probably about two or three days now My wife recently got it for me. They actually came out at uh, GameStop So we're gonna open it up take a look see what this little baby's about and uh, yeah I'm gonna give uh, my personal Opinion review everything on it and I want to show you guys what I'll be doing to it All right, so before we get started here if you're new hey, be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button Now you got the chance to join up with the trippy gang be sure to hit the bell notification right beside it So you don't miss out on anything we drop here on the channel and last but not least hey, drop a thumbs up on the video If you know what you're down with the Razer Huntsman or if you just want to hype up the trippy gang channel We'd greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to share the video. There's plenty of others out there especially during the holiday seasons, just looking for a really nice keyboard. And if you're into 60% keyboards, this is the route to take. Let's get started. All right, guys, I'm sure half of you guys know me, but if you don't, I'm Trippy Mel Mel, and I hope you enjoy this Razer keyboard. Let's take a look at it and see what it's all about, all right? Getting out my wife's uh, cool little knife here, guys. I usually have this big one that I open everything with, but uh, guess what? I can never find it. So, hey, you know what? Oh, well, the funny thing is I didn't need a knife. It actually comes with a little tab that says pull here. So, right there it is. Anyway, so, you know, my brain doesn't pay attention to things like that. So, I was going to do this from my other camera, but... The lighting in here is horrible. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like. Your paperwork is going to be up here in this top pocket. So let's put it back down in here the way it come. I said the way it come, the way it came. <laughs> Can't talk again today. All right, guys, so there we go. This one is white. Now, you can also get this um, in black as well. All right, so inside of this, you're actually going to get, uh, it's got a little plastic sleeve around it. So you're going to get your little welcome note here from a uh, razor. You're also going to get your little uh, user guide pamphlet book. And inside you will always find the nice, cool little stickers. And the best part about this one, uh, it's really different. So this one here is, you know, you've got the razor logo and then you got the razor chroma RGB. And then there's another sticker down here at the bottom. This one actually says for gamers by gamers. So if I can get that to show up. It's so like the light's reflecting off of it because it's so full of like glitter. There it is. And then on the end, it says Razor. Now, these are all individual stickers. So, hey, like if you want to stick them on like maybe your uh, desktop, you know, your PC box or whatever, feel free. You can put them on the glass window, hang them on your wall. Now, I've got some back here, as you see behind me on the wall. But, guys, I'm definitely never going to put any stickers besides... The name of my motherboard, I got a little sticker about that big. It's up in the top corner. I will never put stickers on the side window of my desktop computer because it means too much to me to be making a mess on the screen. All right, so inside, you're actually going to find your cable, and these are Type-C cables. And uh, the best part about these cables, so you do have the braided cable. That's what everybody's been looking for. So right now, guys, I do uh, have a keyboard at 60%. I use the Ducky 1-2 mini keyboard. And uh, my wife actually has one. Let's see. So just in case if you don't know what a Ducky 1-2 is, this is actually a Ducky 1-2. So we actually have the keycaps. Uh, my wife has a little monkey up here at see-through. And uh, there's just a long story behind, uh, like, monkey butt. Just It's a long story <laughs> as to why we got that keycap. Anyway, so you got the rat space bar down here for, you know, their anniversary. And uh, all these keycaps here are rubber. And then as you see, you've got the dice up here. And then this is a random color that comes with Ducky. All right. So, yeah, there's the difference. And Ducky's got the kickout stands on the bottom. And then, you know, they got your little changeable things. So, yeah, Ducky is a, a really, really good company as well. Now, I'll tell you something about Ducky while we're at it. All right. Ducky is actually, uh, you can get them from a company out of West Tennessee. That's called MechanicalKeyboards.com, and they'll run you about $100. So now this Razer keyboard, it actually costs more. Let me ask my wife, how much did the keyboard cost? 
So this is about $130 this Razer keyboard is, okay? So now that's what GameStop charged. Um, now I did see them like around 119 and like 129 of course, at Best Buy. Different places had different prices on them, but uh, Best Buy is another place that you can pick these up at. All right, so the cable is uh, pretty long. So one end, you're going to get your Type-C. So that's the Type-C cable on it. And the other end... You're going to get your regular USB with the, the green razor color in it. And then you've got your little tie down a little strap thing here to hold your cable together. So I've always liked that because I'm big on cable management and I do not like all them wires. That, that's just my big pet peeve. All right, guys, if you have a computer full of wires hanging everywhere, fix your wires. It takes a little bit of time, but it doesn't take that much time. And I promise you'd be much happier with it. All right, so let's get the keyboard out here. All right, let's take a look at it. So they made this to look similar to the Ducky. Now, when you first buy Ducky, it does come with the original caps. And, you know, like on, on the sides here, you'll see, I don't know if you can see it, but there we go. Anyway, you can tell like each keycap right here, it tells you what they do. It's got the little gray uh, letters written on it. Now, another thing I want to say, I just want to compare this to Ducky. That's why I'm wanting to make the video. Of course, they're the same size. They're 60%. And the Ducky there, that one has brown keycaps on it because that's all that was available when I purchased it for my wife. Now, the Ducky that I use actually has black keycaps with underglow. They got the HyperX pudding caps on it. And I got the rubber keycaps as well. So mine looks a little different. Got the gas mask, you know, for my escape key. Now, they came with originally with these, but they were black. Mine did. Hers came with white keycaps, which part of them are still on there. Most people will say, I don't want a 60% keyboard because they're too small. I lost out on my F1 keys. Uh, I lost out on my number pad keys. All right, I get it. You did lose out on your number pad keys. But here's the way that Ducky works. Ducky has its own mouse built into it. You can hold down the FN key. And then you can actually hit uh, the IJKL. IJKL becomes your mouse keys, okay? So you can do the I and then you can, you know, JKL. I'm trying to look at it backwards. <laughs> anyway, so as long as you're holding that down, you got a full mouse that you can control right there. You can also, uh, like these other ones, it'll tell you it's got the sound, the play, uh, M, let's see, scroll. Uh, so yeah, and you got pause on it. You got the home key, page up, end. Uh, you got sleep mode. There's so many different things here. You got your Windows key. And if you're looking for F1 through F10, you just hold down FN and then hit one, and that's F1. That's the only thing it is. So your same normal 100% keyboard is still here. It's just all put down inside of a 60%. That's the only difference. You're really not losing anything. So let's look at it this way. A lot of people will say, hey, I've got really big hands, you know. I do too, guys. Believe it or not, my hands are huge, and the camera does no justice. I promise you that. But I have huge hands. So, and if we're comparing my hand against this keyboard, as you see, my hand is huge, guys. Okay? So, but I tell you, this is perfect. I mean, this little thing here just sits down on my desk, and I just go at it, dude. I'm telling you, I love it. But I'm a keyboard player, especially when it comes to Apex. I got aim like no other when it comes to keyboard and mouse. So, this thing is absolutely amazing. Now, this one here, they have purple keycaps, all right? Now, they are, you know, your quieter, soft keycaps, supposedly. So, let's do a key test so you guys can hear it. All right, so some of them are different, like the back button compared to your inner. Those are the same. Now, if you get to your number pad compared to your actual keycaps or your letter keys, those are the same. Now, you get over to shift to control. Those are the same. Your space bar Everything is a little different. The spring gives in just a little different. But like I said, no matter what, these are your purple keycaps. Now, you're probably thinking, Trippy, what are you going to do with this thing? Let's talk about it, guys. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to toss this box in the floor because I don't care about it anymore. All right. 
and we're going to move some stuff around right here, guys. I'm actually going to put that there. All right. So what I want to introduce you to now is something that I picked up at Best Buy a couple of weeks ago when we were actually doing our Black Friday shopping early uh, when I was out with my wife in Tupelo. Let me introduce you to the white pudding keycaps, all right? I've been looking for these white pudding keycaps because I said they're going to come in handy one day. And my wife said to me, are you even going to put those on your keyboard? Absolutely not. I will not take the black keycaps off of my uh, ducky one. You know, I've got, like I said, I've got some rubber keycaps on it, but I will not take them off. I love the black because I do like the black and white theme in my house uh, as far as my PC setup. But what we're going to do is now... I can split these up, you know, like with my wife's ducky, part of them can be, you know, white underglow and uh, the rest of them can be her rubber keycaps. But most of all, we're going to take this set and put them on the Razor Huntsman Mini. All right, let's check it out, guys. These are all vacuum sealed, too, when you get them. All right, so that's all that you're just going to get two little packs inside. We'll toss that to the side. You're going to get your little instruction manual, which we all know about. And you're going to get one sleeve of keycaps. And then you'll get your second sleeve of keycaps. And then you're going to get your third sleeve, which is going to have your keycap puller in it, okay? And as you see, they all say like HyperX and all that. So let's do this. So you can choose to leave your normal, you know, space bar. You just wouldn't have the underglow to it. So that's actually, you know, really your choice. All right, let's just go down through here and see what we can get at. All right, guys. Don't want to rip it open too much because then keycaps are going everywhere. Actually, I probably should have started with the one with the keycap puller. All right, let's go back and open this up. There we go. Now we'll take these out, and uh, they're really not hard to put on. You just have to be really, really careful because if you're not, then what could possibly happen is you could actually break your keycap. You could break the spring. There's, you know, a lot of different things that you could actually do. All right, now let's take a look at it now that it's out of the pack. As you see, the top of it is still white. It's kind of hard to see with my Elgato key light shining in on us. Let me see if I can turn that off, make a difference. All right, it's super, super bright. All right, didn't make a difference. All right, anyways, you can still see the top piece. So it's like super white. There we go. Let me just put it up to the camera. Let the camera focus. Come on, camera. There we go. All right, so you see that it's white, and if you turn it sideways, then you see that you have a difference there. You have like the clear to where you've got a little bit, probably about that thick of white, okay? Now, let's see here. This one here is an F10 key I will not be using. And this one here is, I guess, a zero key. Yep, it sure is. All right, so what I want to do is you just want to take your key cap, and you can do it, you know, this way, or you can do it this way. doesn't matter. I like to go side to side. You'll hear the click. There it is. means it's in, and you just want to give it a nice little snug, and it'll come right off, and then you just slide it out, okay? All right, so since we have it off, I'm going to show you guys exactly what is underneath it. All right, so there it is. That's how you know that these are purple keycaps, because as you see, it's a purple keycap. All right, so it's got a nice little spring it gives. All right, now you're just going to take your regular keycap here that we're talking about, and you're just going to push it on there. Real simple. There it is. And it's on there. Can you tell the difference? Only if I tilt it a little bit sideways, right? Let's try from the back. Can you guys tell? All right. So it's going to be right here. That's it. It gives the underglow effect. So let's throw some of these on here. All right. F9 we don't use. All right. Let's see here. We'll use this one. All right, another one down. All right, that's F11 we ain't going to use. 
All right, so I just want to show you guys a few of these on how they work. All right, I got this one that looks super, super weird, and I don't know where it goes. So I'm going to set it to the side. I don't even see anything that resembles to it. Maybe my wife can help me with that one. So She's pretty good at figuring things out when I don't, guys. That's usually a lot. All right, so let's just set the keycaps out here. I know you guys can't see that part. I'm going to just swap some over for you all. I just want to see if we can... You know, make a difference here with uh, whenever I turn it on. All right, I'm trying to set all the F keys to the side. That's all for some reason that I keep picking up. And what I do like about the uh, HyperX pudding caps is that the letters or numbers, either one, symbols, are so much smaller on there. So if you're someone who is pretty much, you know, got bad eyesight, then honestly, you may want to, you know, stick with bigger keycaps. I mean, they're not that much different, but I mean, to me, it's, let me see if I can show you guys with this number nine. Let's see if the camera will focus. Now, over in my left hand, which is this one, of course, uh, it'd be opposite on screen. So come on, camera. Can you focus? So let's see. Let me get the mic out of my mouth. All right, camera focus. Come on, camera. See, guys, this is the most irritating thing in the world is when you need a camera to focus and it doesn't do it. But anyways, as you see, the difference is, of course, you can tell which one's bigger, which one's smaller. All right, come on, camera. All right, anyways, I tried. We'll be here all day doing that one. But anyway, so they're just a little bit smaller for the uh, HyperX keycaps here, but not a big difference, guys. So it's not going to be like, oh, my God, I can't read the screen at all because you'll be able to. All right. If y'all just bear with me, which I know you have been, we'll get this over with. And guys, hey, feel free to go ahead and fast forward through this part if you would like. I don't mind at all. So on my editing, I still have not learned how to just like fast forward through and make it go really fast like some people. So I promise one day I'll have this editing stuff packed down. But hey, still learning. Yes, practice makes perfect and you got to learn. We're only going to put these keycaps on. I'll put the other ones on later. So we are actually nearly done, okay? Because I want you guys to see a difference. All right, I'm dropping them everywhere here. Now, most people, whenever you buy these, most people go after blue or red keycaps. Red keycaps are the top number one keycaps around that everybody aims for. Um, I would have to admit, now, red would be my favorite keycap. They seem to be a little bit quieter. And uh, my ducky keyboard, now, it does have the red. Like I said, my wife's has the brown, which is pretty much a little bit louder. So, now, blue makes a step up, and it becomes, you know, a little louder as well. Right, we'll set that one to the side. Some of these guys have really weird uh, little symbols on them, and I have no idea what they are. That's just that's the only thing with keycaps. They make them to where they look. Some of them look, you know, so different, and you're sitting around trying to figure out what it looks like and what it is, and yeah, it becomes a mess. Especially when you get into like uh, the commas the semicolon and yeah all right guys it's coming along it's actually looking really really nice so i do like it all right let's see here we got just about five more keycaps guys and we'll be done i know you all probably want to kill me by now I feel like the uh, HyperX ones, they kind of sound better. I don't know why I feel that way, but I don't know. I just feel like they're not as loud, but they're pretty much just the same key kit. Yeah, maybe it's just in my head, guys. So. All right, let's finish it off here. Then we got the space bar down in this one. 
All right, this bag is gone, so we'll trash it. All right, what do we get? What do we get? All right, got a nice little alt key here. So the alt key, guys, let me show you. Your key cap will not fit sideways, and let, well, this way, unless you have like an extra long thing. So you'll have to actually turn it. All right, come on, let's get it together, camera. I'm trying to look at it backwards. You'll have to turn it this way to actually get the alt key out. There we go. Came out perfect. Now, you guys will see how much, like, I'm leaving part of them on there, but you're going to be able to see a huge difference on when you put, you know, underglow keycaps on a keyboard. Man, like, I'm telling you what, if you're into RGB, if you're not, then this definitely is not for you. I'll go ahead and say that. But if you're into RGB like I am, man, this is absolutely amazing. Like, just out of this world, outstanding, the difference that you get. All right, last but not least, the space bar. All right, got a little struggle going on with the space bar here. All right, so the space bar actually comes with, if you'll see the difference, it comes with these little pieces here. And as HyperX does not have any, so I gotta pop these little things off and put them in there. I think that's what it. Yeah. So they just slide out, and you're just they look like this, a little gray piece, and you're just gonna slide them up in here. Perfect. All right. There's one in. All right. All right, there we go. So we got that one on there. Now, let's see if we can get this back on there nice and peaceful. Because you do have the key cap in the middle, so that's kind of what you have to watch out for. And just make sure when you push it, you don't push it sideways. All right, guys, so we got all of those on there. Let's take the cable and let's actually uh, plug it into the USB hub here. Guys, I just want to plug it in for the lighting so we will not be doing like any activities with it or anything because it's not plugged all the way into my actual PC. So that would be like a hot mess here to unplug. And if you live in this house, then you understand that there is about mm, just a thousand wires, nothing serious, you know. <laughs> All right, guys, so as you know, your Type-C adapter is going to be back there. And I do like how they made the white casing around it. The Ducky's not like that. It's just open, and you just got the little piece. So that's one thing that I feel like Ducky should have done is made it to where it had a casing that it would fit in. Now, we do have the prop-out legs on this one, so you can make it to where to stand up tall, or you can push it down and make it to where it stands up small. I like to keep mine to where it stands up small. There we go. So it's just the top piece that, you know what I'm saying, is working like that. All right, let's see what kind of power we got. All right, guys, I'm going to turn off this light now. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right. So once again, I plugged it up. Now I just want to show you guys a difference. All right, so. If you're looking at it head on, you're probably thinking, Trippy, like, can you explain to me what the difference is? All right, if you'll look over here, you can still see, you know, which my lighting is crazy in here, guys. Hey, uh, Caitlin, can you turn off that overhead light for just a second so I can show them something? As you see, you got over here that they're still, you know, closed in. But over here, you can see that the lighting is coming out. Now, they look 10 times better off camera than they would, you know, uh, on camera, let me try to turn it around this way so you can see from the back. It's just so bright. That's why, you know, like it's crazy. 
This is super bright, guys. The lighting in it is. But anyway, so right here is the space bar. How you got the light, you know, glowing under it compared to these. There's no underglow. And like, let me, I don't know if I can turn this monitor off. I know it's kind of bright. So I don't know if that helps. This thing is so bright in general that I just feel like it's not helping. I've got every one of my monitors turned off. But there we go. So the purple, it just depends on the light that pops up. As to which one you can tell is good and which one's not. But you got the whole underglow coming up. And, you know, guys, you can adjust these lights, okay? They don't have to be that bright. You know, they don't have to... If you just... I know you guys understand what I'm trying to say. They don't have to... You know, you can make them dim. Uh, you can change up the color effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take uh, the screen here and swap it over and let you guys see... Uh, what's going on on the screen right now okay so let me go back to my camera and get it to where I can make it smaller all right so this is what's happening on the screen right now so you've got the razor app that pops up you know you got razor cortex I do not download that so you've got this one you would just update it but if you go to apps up here you know apps is automatically going to tell you that you've plugged in something new. There we go. Now the picture at the bottom seems to look better now that it's not, you know, the camera's not so large. But you can see the difference on the glow of the keyboard. And my personal opinion, the glow coming outward underneath is so much better. So you would just update this software um, on your PC like this. And the moment that it updates, of course, all you would do is just go in, you know, and choose your settings. There's so many different things that you could do as far as settings, guys. Uh, that's one thing that I do love about Razer. Their software is made to where you can do pretty much whatever you want. So, guys, I would highly recommend, you know, like I said, this camera is no justice at all. You know, so I would absolutely just recommend you guys grabbing this. The Razer Huntsman Mini is amazing. I know a lot of people have reached out and told me, hey, Trippy, you know, like I literally have this. Uh, also. Whatever you do, don't forget to get you some white or you can get the black ones if you're into, you know, like changing it up and doing the black. Get you the HyperX um, pudding cap uh, keycaps. That way you can get the underglow. But anyway, so it's asking for a restart as you see and then it boots up and then you can go right into the software. Control it any way that you want to. But guys, uh, I hope that you have, um, hey, all right, got a new follower. <laughs> all right, so guys, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. Don't forget to catch me six days a week streaming over on twitch.tv. Uh, also, hey, please drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed this. I'm sorry it was a little long in the process of putting the keycaps on. Just part of it sometimes. I'm still going to work on my editing skills. Guys, hit that subscribe button. Join up with the Trippy Gang today. We'd love to have you on board. And, uh, yep, I hope to see you guys again soon. Turn the notifications on. That way you'll know when the video drops again. We'll see you very soon, guys. Much love. Peace out.